From this video tutorial, you learn how to edit pages using Elementary Page Builder. First, let's log in to WordPress dashboard. Fill in your username and password in the corresponding fields and click Login button. Now navigate to Pages All Pages tab and here select the page you want to edit. Click Edit with Elementor option. Here we are on the page editor screen. Let's select the content module which you want to change and click Edit option in the top right corner. You can see Edit heading block on the left. Here you can switch from content to style settings and change them according to your needs. For one, I want to change the heading text color. I click on the text color option and use color picker to select the needed color. I would also like to apply shadow, so I enable text shadow option and change the shadow color and settings according to my preferences. In advanced settings you can change heading padding, margins or entrance animation. I picked fading up animation for my heading. Now I'm going to customize icon box margin. I click on edit option and here is the edit icon box block. Let's imagine that I need to change the icon. I navigate to choose icon option and select one of the icons from the drop-down list. When editing pages, you can also add new sections and place their content modules. Let's add a new section and place a new content module there. I added animated text module. In content options, you can change the content. I want to change the text. I want to animate, so I type in it there in the corresponding fields. And here is our new text. Now let's switch to style options and set the colors to use for the animated text parts using color picker tool. Let's place another content module in the same section. I want to add a post module, so I select it from the list and then drop it to the section. Feel free to customize the module content and style according to your needs. I want to use the featured image as a post background, so I change show featured image as option to box background. Now let's create a post carousel. Navigate to carousel settings and turn on enable carousel option. Then change post's number value to the one larger than the number of columns. Ok, now the post carousel works. Let's save the results and click View Page option to see what we have now. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.